Hello everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. We've reached a mysterious door. We've breached it with our gun, hopefully. Let's find out what awaits on the other side. Some kind of airlock. Okay. Claustrophobia setting in. Gotta get out of here. I don't think I can sprint. I think this is my max running speed. Oh, this one's unlocked. Didn't have to breach that one. I'll be down. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. Whoa. This is fancy. I might be a little underdressed wearing just a spacesuit with a cube on my back for this. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. Look at this place. It's all marble and gold. Ah, that's why gold is so valuable. They use it all up in this place. Unless it's just gilded. If it's all just gilded, they're not using that much. There's a lot of seats. They are expecting a lot of guests. But no one's home. You were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the Soul Sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Hello? Anyone home? I can shout. I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. Anyone home? There's an auditorium or lecture hall? Well. So it seems we're on a mission to get Foster back, but... Is Foster trapped here? Everything is just opulent. Wait, am I supposed to go this way? Did I miss something? No, it's a dead end. I don't think I have a map to this place. But... Ah, there we go. Have to go deeper. Oh, it's got chandeliers. There's no power. There's no lights. Just, just the darkness and the silence. What's that? It's getting closer. Ah, just a mirror. Ah, functioning mirror. Ah, and there is N. Ah. 
I like the lighting effects. They get bright off the reflective gold. And a fully functional mirror. It's not easy to do. Continue the descent. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Doors with faces on them. Never a good sign. There's a lot of them. Alright, so first things first. We gotta turn this place on. It's probably just a blown fuse. We just gotta find the circuit breakers. What's up here? This leads back up. Okay, thank you, game. Telling me I'm going the wrong way. I have a terrible sense of direction, so I do enjoy it when games tell me I'm going the wrong way. During this playthrough, I will get very lost if this place is huge. Okay, everything looks sealed off this way. Well, it tells me I can jump, so it's less than 15 meters. Looks like we're going to have to jump! <laughs> okay, I'm safe. I took a cell off on the power. But it will recharge. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. That's a pleasant tone. So I'm guessing those are going to be collectibles. I'm going to have to seek them out. Oh, there's another one. It's definitely picking up something. I think they're pieces of a puzzle. We need more of them to find out what it is. Ah, fantastic. Me with a terrible sense of direction. A gigantic arena. And puzzle pieces scattered all throughout. Should be fun. More mirrors. Mm, not this way. Okay. Anyone home? Nope. No response still. Hello? 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 This is a grand ballroom. Look at that chandelier. Look at, look at all these chandeliers. Yeah. Get your groove on. Alright, enough horsing around. Gotta discover the mysteries of the palace. That door is different. Geronimo! <laughs> Made it. I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door.
Gonna need find something to stick in there. Or I'm gonna need a lot of things. There's a lot of symbols on that. Or not a lot of symbols, but six faces, six indents. Hopefully that's just for aesthetics and I only need just a key. Alright, looks like we're just gonna keep going this is down. Meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Gran spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. So we are the product of eugenics. Where Grandpa was selectively picking out genes to create people? That's, uh, that's a little dark. And the cube, so I guess we're... The cubes are made of people? Alright, other games have taught me if the cube starts talking to me to just ignore it. Let's jump down. So I need to get the soul sucker to mess around with this cube and... Produce a person again? Because I'm a genetically engineered person who can use that technology? And I was created just to come here? There's a lot of mystery so far. What if I don't find the soul sucker? What if I find the soul reaver? Then I have to fight Cain and Asriel. Now, these I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. So the scepter has gravity? I mean, it's technically everything. Everything has gravity. But it's got a gravitational Just out of curiosity, charge. what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up, and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. No, wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. That sounds more like a torture chamber than an exercise regimen. Not regimen. And I can't find the word I'm looking for. Those rings must have been spinning fast if... You'd rather starve to death than even attempt By the to get way, out. I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. 
It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. London's got a little bit of a sarcastic streak to him, seems. All right. Let's hope this works. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Grams did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds, pierces the skin and slithers inside. In about half an hour it consumes everything. All that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. No. You called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. <laughs> oh, we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying and I translated him. You killed him. The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right. That Foster can come back? That's insane. It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? Well then, we're using marble. The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. Well then, we're using marble slabs inlaid with silver to translate, quote unquote, translate people into cubes and I was responsible for translating Foster it seems so he's the cube on my back for what purpose what what do we do with the cubes because London didn't know what it was when it was on the ship after a hundred years running tests on it. I'm just gonna follow this the green light. This is huge. This hallway alone could easily house all the resources that ever were. You finding anything here without coordinates would be a miracle. I compared the quarters you're in now with the overall structure of the planet. The palace is everywhere, all the way to the core. Huge sectors separated by the outside structures you were in. This place is the entire planet, even down to the core? How long would it take to build something like this? This would take... millennia. Mm, do I follow the green light? Do I take my chances down below? Taking a chance. I'm okay. getting some local increases in energy emission. Know what it is? Can't tell. It's not radiation. One of them is close to your location. I'll pin it to your HUD. Ooh, HUD upgrade. So, 235, gonna guess, meters away. I've got to give it to him, the old man. This place is spectacular. Nothing but an infinite palace would suffice for you resourcefuls. I wish you'd stop calling me resourceful. It's what you are. 
I had the training, but I never bought into Grants' vision. I never wanted any of this. Yet here you are. I was six the first time I ran away. I hiked for weeks to see what was beyond the gardens. When I finally reached the wall, Gramps was there waiting for me. There's nothing out there but people living like animals, fighting to please their immediate needs and desires. They have no ambition, no perspective. Why fight to get the best out of the little time you have on Earth when you could be fighting to have much more? He went on about the wonders of the palace, but he had already lost me. All I could hear was the blood rushing in my veins. I wanted that. To fight for the here and now. I decided that I would do whatever it took to make that happen. So I went back with him to follow the training, figuring I'd need it to get away. And I was good. He called me his prize. Before the turn, I ran, just shy of 15. I've been out for seven years now. Not really what you'd call a running away from home excursion. Not really, no. London, you've got to believe me. Foster was a bloody mess and wouldn't have made it out alive. None of us would if I tried to escape with him like that. He gave you the lighter, so he must have wanted me to take you here. But he would never buy into your grandfather's delusions. It's so far-fetched it almost makes me sick. Just gonna keep on going down. So if the resourcefuls are born on Earth, and then we travel the cosmos to come to the palace. We're here to do something with the cube. What were the other ones doing? What is that? Ominous obelisk. Oh, no, wait. Stretches out. Is that a throne? Hmm. A throne. A throne for what? That thing is huge. Might as well see what it does. Look. Yeah. It's like a child sitting in a big recliner. Okay. We've got a light. Oh! <laughs> it's like running into an automatic door. Oh! Okay. I guess it's on a timer with the throne. Had no time for my thoughts. Now I'm locked in. This must be it. Come and come to the light. The light is good. Something's not right. I'm really picking up a whole load of anomalies. It
Hostel? Foster? Are you doing this? Ben, I thought I lost you. Massive power surges are blazing through the outside structures. And the gravity clouding nearly tore me apart. She's waking up. More like malfunctioning. If those reaction veins cross... Wait, what's that? Something's wrong with your HUD. I think it's the cube telling me where to go. It happened when I put it on my back. Unlikely. The suit is hard-coded, and all blocks capped to the minimum. No room for adding to or altering the code. Looks like the cube and the palace did not agree with each other. Everything's going a little haywire. So we're gonna find out why that is. Next time.